Him Who Died to Save. A reading from the devotional Morning by Morning by Charles Spurgeon. And there followed him a great company of people and of women, which also bewailed and lamented him. Luke 23, 27. Amid the rabble rout, which hounded the Redeemer to his doom, there were some gracious souls whose bitter anguish sought vent in wailing and lamentations. Fit music to accompany that march of woe. When my soul can, in imagination, see the Savior bearing his cross to Calvary, she joins the godly women and weeps with them. For indeed, there is true cause for grief, cause lying deeper than those mourning women thought. They bewailed innocence, maltreated, goodness persecuted, love bleeding, meekness about to die. But my heart has a deeper and more bitter cause to mourn. My sins were the scourges which lacerated those blessed shoulders and crowned with thorn those bleeding brows. My sins cried, crucify him, crucify him, and laid the cross upon his gracious shoulders. His being led forth to die is sorrow enough for one eternity. But my having been his murderer is more, infinitely more, grief than one poor fountain of tears can express. Why those women loved and wept, it were not hard to guess. But they could not have had greater reasons for love and grief than my heart has. Nain's widow saw her son restored but I myself have been raised to newness of life. Peter's wife's mother was cured of the fever, but I of the greater plague of sin. Out of Magdalene, seven devils were cast, but a whole legion out of me. Mary and Martha were favored with visits but he dwells with me. His mother bare his body, but he is formed in me the hope of glory. In nothing behind the holy women in debt, let me not be behind them in gratitude or sorrow. Love and grief my heart dividing, with my tears his feet I'll lave. Constant still in heart abiding, weep for him who died to save.
Jerusalén Los soldados le abrían paz 